Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. The purpose of this video is for you to test yourself, see if you've mastered the conjugation of the verb estar. Remember to study the topic in your textbook first, the conjugation is there. You might also uh, Google the topic and you'll find some great YouTube videos that show you how to conjugate estar and give you examples. When you're ready to test yourself to see if you've mastered the conjugation, then come here and let's go ahead and get started. So how would you say, I am, I am? Yo estoy, yo estoy. Or if we leave out the subject pronoun, which you can do, you just have estoy, I am, estoy. Now you are informal. In other words, when you're on a first name basis with someone, you would use uh, not usted, but Tú. So you are, tú estás, and pay attention to the accent marks. Those are important. They're necessary. If you don't use the accent marks, they're, those are actually different words, so be careful. So tú estás. You are. Now the you are formal, and this one would also be singular. You're referring to one other person. You're on a last name basis with someone. You are. Usted está, usted está. She is. Ella está, ella está. He is. Él está, él está. We are. Nosotros estamos, or if it's only a group of females in the we, uh, nosotras estamos. You are plural. If you are addressing more than one person, ustedes están. You are. Ustedes están. Now, there's also a you are, a plural, and an informal, which is only used in Spain. Think of it as the plural of tú. Vosotros estáis, or referring only to a group of females, re addressing, I'm sorry, addressing only a group of females. Vosotras estáis. They are. If you're referring to only males, a group of males or a mixed group, ellos están, ellos están. Or if you are referring to a group of females only, then ellas están, ellas están. Okay, well that's it for this video. This video only focuses on the conjugation. For more about the different uses of estar, be sure to watch my other videos. And if you didn't get all of these correct when I showed you the answers, go back to the beginning and keep playing the video until you get each one correct before I show you the answer. And then you've really learned something. That's it for this video.